My name's Sean Boulson. I'm 36 years old. I was born in Troy, New York. I was born into a really dysfunctional family. My mother was a, an alcoholic and a drug addict. My father, you know, they were really never there. Me and my, me and my siblings, we were really left to roam the, the projects, you know, getting into trouble, causing all kinds of problems. 86, 87, we moved to Lubbock, Texas. My father, he eventually left my mother and she went back to New York with my sister and it was just me and my brother staying in Ransom Canyon. And me and my brother went into child, child protective services and I spent the next nine years of my life you know, in various foster homes, children's homes. I guess it was in 1993 when I was staying at the Buckner Children's Home here in Lubbock. I got arrested for a, for an assault case and I got a, a one year sentence in TYC, which I turned into eight years causing problems, fighting, I had an anger problem. Everything went south for me in 2005 or 2006 when my daughter was born and she passed away. And that's when my life really took a turn for the worse. I started you know, drinking heavily, using drugs. In 2006, I, uh, I went to prison for the first time for a burglary. Got gang involved, started running with the wrong people. Didn't really change anything. You no know, prison just taught me how to be a better criminal, not a better person. Went back to TDC. In 2008, uh, went back again in 2010. And uh, you know, that was just my way of life. The, 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 the running with my homeboys, partying, drinking. 2016, I really just got tired of it. I wanted to do something different. I actually got into my Bible, started talking to, to some of the people, kind of slid back a little bit from, from my homeboys. I started attending a class in the jail with Chaplain Perry. And he told me about Malta Farms and he got me in contact with uh, Chad Everett out at the farm. He came up and visited me. He actually came into the pod and we sat down and had a meeting and he just asked me what I wanted to do with my life. I told him, you know, I just want, I want to change. I wanted to do something different. If I didn't do something different, then I was going to spend the rest of my life in the penitentiary. And so Chad came and picked me up from the county and came out to the farm and met Jacob. You know, we, we got pretty close. You know, he inspired me a lot. Cause we, we had similar backgrounds, you know, both been to the penitentiary several times and he was just a good example for, for me to see that somebody from my background and way of life can make a change and that God can change even the worst. Since I've been at the farm, I, you know, it hasn't all been about me and me. You know, since I've been here, I've had the opportunity to go out and serve in the community at uh, Tent City, at the Dream Center. You know, just anybody that, that needed any kind of help or assistance, I've been able to go and help them out. I've met a lot of wonderful people you know, established a lot of a lot of friendships with people that normally I wouldn't have had any kind of association with. It's just been a wonderful experience, a life-changing experience, and I just want to thank everybody that's played a part, however big or however small, it just encouraged me or spoke to me or tried to help me anyway. You know, because it's because of you that all this is possible and that I am who I am today. Thank you.